Hello friends, how are you? My name is Ari Ferrier and here I am making another drawing. Those of you who like Norse mythology, I think you will like this drawing. By the way, some of you, my dear friends, are buying my artistic works at Society6. Thank you so much for that. Here's Sarah, for instance, with a work of mine in the background. She tweeted me this a couple of weeks ago and she just made my day. Thank you so much, Sarah. If you guys want to buy more of my works, I leave a link down below in the description and this work I am creating is already there. Alright, what I'm creating here is the goddess Hel from the Norse mythology, the goddess of the dead and the underworld, but she's so much more than that. Yes, I'll just go straight to the point, so much for the surprise factor, there's no point in creating suspense. I'll not deny it, this deity is one of my favorites. Well. I can't say she's my favorite, the gods are not collectible cards or action figures, let's just say that I have the utmost respect for this goddess. Uh, the most prominent physical feature of this goddess is that half of her body is completely normal and the other half a rotting skeleton, which makes her quite scary. But I think that aspect has been represented countless times and what makes her unique and special isn't the physical appearance. But of course, in artistic terms, representing the grotesque is the choice most people go with, so those who appreciate art can identify the goddess immediately. I wanted to make a different approach. I wanted to represent her other side, more humane, the naive and yet seductive appearance of a young woman, and I had literally drawn just one side of her, yet I had to put an element there to link it to the goddess. Death is a scary subject and throughout history we have been avoiding it, and at the same time we walk straight at it so eagerly sometimes. But even so we try to deny death, trying everything to walk away from it on the opposite direction, but we know that we are all walking straight at it, it is inevitable. But the fear of death misshapes the reality of nature, and the gods are the personification of nature. So the gods of death automatically have to be scary ones because of our refusal to accept other aspects of nature. This is a collective memory we have created that death is ugly because we tend to push it aside from our own realities. This is one of the reasons I wanted to create the goddess Hell in a different manner, not because death is beautiful and poetic, but because it is part of nature and part of, our, of ourselves. <laughs> Death is undeniably linked to life, which might be a bit paradoxical. How can death be life? How can there be life after death, if death means the end of existence? But death is that which gives new life the opportunities to sprout. Now, putting religious beliefs aside, scientifically speaking, everything that lives only lives because of the energy it possesses. When something dies, that energy remains in the body for a while and then passes on to nature to the earth or to the atmosphere and ultimately into the universe. This energy is the essence of the being to which it belonged to, and that energy will live on in nature and pass into other beings. So scientifically speaking, we are in the presence of the soul, the spirit or part of it, which lives on. The druids used to say that everything is destructible except the soul, so death is a natural part of life we must accept. I've given Hell a more humane appearance, hiding her other side. What is more important, the shallow appearance of something just because it is pleasant to look upon, or the true nature of things? She might seem beautiful, but the ultimate test we go through is to accept the reality of things, and not refusing to accept it even when it's in front of us. She shows her other half, the other aspect of nature, the other side of reality. She gives that hand for us to kiss, for us to accept the truth. Are we going to take that hand and kiss it? Are we going to accept the truth? Or continue to look upon her fair face and deny reality? This is the final kiss, the final test, taking her hand and accept our condition as mortals. I'm all talk, but I'm also afraid of death. Who isn't? Even those who so proudly say they don't fear death, well, sorry for this assessment, but in the end they all shit themselves. I'm not trying to pass the message that we should accept death and rejoice in it, or that there is beauty in it, oh no. 
There isn't beauty in death, only when death gives way to life. What I'm simply stating is that we should respect it and try to live our lives as best as we can without denying reality or deny the truth of ourselves. Our true characters are shown at the end, when we face reality, when we face death, and it's okay to cry and to be scared, but I assure you, there will be a point of understanding, and that is the moment of peace in our minds and in our hearts. Someone once told me, someone who was very special in my life, that in the end we are all alone and in loneliness we must take the final step. You see, even if you are surrounded by friends and family, at the very end, no one will accompany you in death, no one will do the journey for you or with you. That perhaps is the only thing in life we really have to do alone. Uh, taking that final step towards the truth and kiss that hand and see beyond beauty and poetry, beyond the fairy tales, beyond the illusion of beauty, because death isn't the end of consciousness, but the continuation of the evolution of our consciousness. Alright friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video, all the links to my social media are down below at the description as well as the link to buy my artistic works. Now I leave you with the final result and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much.